Hi everyone and welcome back to Warno. Today we're going to do a build for the French 11th Parachute Division. This is the last deck build I'll probably do before release of the game because between now and then there's going to be various other additions, various other changes to the existing divisions rather than anything new be added. So after the final release or closer to the final release when we know there aren't going to be any major changes I might revisit some of these decks. But as it stands this will be the last one for a while. But this is a French deck, you can close your eyes, you can click anywhere on the screen and eventually I'm sure you will end up with a decent deck. Eugene French, need we say any more? Obviously they're a little bit better off than the British though they have some weak areas in this deck. So let's start with logistics and crack on. So we're taking the trucks, I always take the trucks, you know it is my preference. I'd probably also take some kangaroos as that is the only other option you have here and I like to have two cards at least of supply because the game doesn't have fobs yet if they get added in some format. In terms of these my option is going to be the little jeep because you get four of them. Uh, the VBL yes it has a gun on it but I'm not really too fussed it has very little armor there is something to be said for the command chopper here because everything here is, well, a lot of it is forward deployable in this division. There is something to be said for having this to get round behind enemy lines and perhaps cap points early. I'm thinking two lakes where you can cap the point behind and bring in your own forces there. So, you know, sneaking around the back sometimes can be worth it with a chopper like that. But I won't pull it in my deck. Infantry is a little bit more straightforward than the British variant and there are some much better priced forces here. Gonna ignore the Prevote guys, not really interested in those. However, the reservists, this is of interest. They cost 25 points, they're a 10 man squad and they have a lot of firepower in the grand scheme of things. No, they're not quite as good as some of the other options here, but that's not bad for 25 points. I'm going to stick those in because they're a spammable infantry. They're the equivalent of, you know, the likes of the Heimatsuchen. So I'd take those purely anti-infantry. Little bit of extra fluff to uh, take on the enemy forces. Next up, you've got the Sapu's Paras and you've got the Flamethrowers as well. I would just take a stack of both of those personally. Uh, again, you're just taking them in trucks. There's nothing else that come in. Fantastic. Now, these Chasseurs Paras, I'm sorry, but that is ridiculously good for the price. I mean, look at that. It's a 10-man squad. It's got decent weaponry. Now, compare them to the Territorial Army guys from the British. Not only are these guys higher ranked, because they're veteran when they come in, they're the same price, and they have more squad members, and they have better equipment. There's a serious pricing issue there, guys. I don't understand how the British Terriers can be the same price as these guys. Definitely taking some of those. They're forward deployable. All of these guys are, except the Reservists. Uh, the Legionnaires Paras are also pretty good. They have the Epilas Launcher, which is 21 penetration. Again, very good squad. It costs 5 points more for all that extra penetration. You don't get as many. They come in as elite. But I'd certainly be taking a squad of those, or a card of those. In terms of the Milan, I'm never really fussed about the Milan 1. I certainly take some Milan 2s, because why wouldn't you? A little bit of extra firepower. you got the Air Mobiles. They actually come in a Super Puma. They, again, have the a Palace Launcher. Now, they're the same price. The only difference is they come in a Chopper. And they're not forward deployable. But if you compare the two, we'll just pin them. They are almost identical squads. So what you're paying for is the chopper, really. And I will also note that you can't bring them in at the same level. So these guys come in as veteran and you get six of them. These guys come in as elite. And, you know, as I say, comparing the two... I can't help but think that really you're better off going with the Legionnaires Paras. You can bring these in less trained and at least you get nine of them. I would stick another squad of those in and just take both cards. I think that's well worth it. You got three cards left to fill. I mean, I quite like these guys for sitting in towns and forests because they're very good at taking out vehicles. So I'd take a squad of those as well. 
we need a command uh in terms of command here they're all three per card so you're getting no real advantage there in terms of firepower i mean they've got a machine gun that's their only advantage they're a seven man squad they're an eight man squad they're slightly cheaper take your pick i mean they're the cheapest there's only six of them. I guess you take those and they've got a machine gun. But let's be honest, if they get spotted, they're dead anyway. So you could go with the cheap option. They do come in in a chopper as well. Which makes them a lot more expensive, actually. Because they're coming in in a 55-point chopper. I take that back. Let's take the command paras. Because they have a machine gun. That was easy in the end. Because I didn't realise the only option there was a super puma. Now, I've got one activation point left here there is something to be said for the fast response of infantry in choppers there definitely is an advantage there however in the grand scheme of things i think i'd rather have nine of these guys or would i they come in veteran they're slightly cheaper they don't have to come in in a chopper yeah I think I'd bring in those guys. I wouldn't blame anyone for taking the Aeromobiles. I don't think they're a bad squad at all. I think they're a good squad. I think they're very good that they have the Apelas launcher. So they're going to be very good against tanks. But really, I feel like I've got plenty of those with the Legionnaire Para. So, fast reaction force. Maybe I'll regret not having them in there, but they're expensive because of the 55 point chopper i leave that one to you but i certainly wouldn't blame you for switching out of chasseurs paras for one of the aeromobiles let's move on to artillery not a lot of choice here you've got the 120 mortar you've got an 81 mil mortar on a truck and you've got the 105 mil artillery there's something to be said for mortars on a truck, but really, I'd rather have those guys for the 120 mils, and you probably need some artillery, so I'd get four of those as well, and then I'd move on. Tanks, this is a really bad deck for tanks, let's be honest, there's no getting around that. You've got the ERC-90, which isn't terrible in terms of the firepower of the main gun. It is heat though, so bear that in mind, high explosive anti-tank. It doesn't have the same kind of penetration. So the closer you get, it won't do more damage as it would if it was a kinetic weapon. But I think, you know, since that's your, really your only choice, you're going to be taking two stacks of those. You've then got the Milan Paras, which is a Milan 2, and you've got the other Milan 2. Are they both Milan 2? They are, aren't they? They have four missiles each and cost 40. They have eight missiles each and cost 55. Their stealth's good. Their stealth is mediocre because it's a truck rather than a jeep. Well, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, you might as well take the jeep. I feel like I'm not taking a lot here, but there isn't a lot to take, so I'm moving straight on. Recon is a bit of a mixed bag here. You get plenty, but that makes it hard to choose. It's not like some of the decks where it's pretty obvious what you're going to take. So you've got a VBL Recon with a heavy machine gun. You've got a VBL Milan with a Milan and a light machine gun. You've got the AML-60, which has a little anti-infantry tank gun. And you've got the AML-90 Lynx, which has a proper tank gun with heat rounds. So again, not kinetic. You've got the Eclairs Paras, which are pretty decent, and you've got the Paras SAS down there. They have the Mini Me, which are pretty good, and you get two of them, and you've also got the Satchel Chargers on those guys. We do like Satchel Chargers. You can also take them in the Recon truck. That is an option. These guys, again, can be taken in a Recon truck, so it's completely up to you. That Recon truck also has a nice machine gun. You also get the option of a Gazelle 
recon chopper and a gazelle cannon recon chopper the cannons can be quite good at harassing units so that's probably a good option nothing in here has exceptional optics it's only very good as an option so what i would take here is i would take the aml 90s because i think they have a place for good harassment against light vehicles and transports i would definitely take these guys and i'd probably consider taking them in the recon vehicle and then i would definitely take the sas guys although i would take those guys in a standard truck rather than the recon truck purely to keep their price a little bit lower because you know it's pushing them up to 100 if you bring them in in that as well but nothing wrong with bringing them in in the recon truck I'd actually also probably stick the gazelle cannons in here. We've got lots of points to play with because we're not spending a lot on tanks in this deck. Moving on to anti-air, I would actually consider taking the gazelle here. You get four of them and they've got the mistral, which isn't bad. And, you know, I think early game is going to be very useful for staving off incoming chopper rushes. So there's something to be said for that in this deck. I'd certainly take the Mistral Paras because they're forward deployable and it's pretty decent and they come in as a veteran. Other than that, you've got this thing which is basically a truck with a Mistral on. You've got this thing which is a truck with the 20mm on and you've got the standard 20mm. I mean, this is 5 points more and it's on a truck so it's much more mobile. I'd probably just take those. Anti-air is not a strong point of this deck. You could potentially take that as well, but I'd leave that and come back. We might be relying a lot on aircraft. Helos, you've got a Gazelle Cannon, you've got a Gazelle Hot, you've got a Gazelle Hot 2, and you've got a Puma Pirate. The Puma Pirate has a lovely 20mm cannon on it. But this does as well. So, I mean, there's not a big price difference. You could really spam auto cannons in this deck you can have a lot of auto cannon choppers including the recon ones i'm sure there's some memes to be had for hippie there i would stick the gazelle hot 2 in there i think you know the hot 2 is pretty good and i think there's times when you will need it because you do not have decent tanks in fact no, I kind of, I kind of thinking I would more take more of those, but we'll see what's in the air tab. Let's take some more gazelle cannons because they're so cheap. I hate leaving one point activation cards, but I'm gonna go to air and then come back. So in the air tab, you've got quite a wide selection. You've got a seed jet, which is really cheap considering it's seed, and seeds are quite expensive in the game. You got another seed down there, which has some rockets as well it has a single seed that has a single seed as well let's just pin those i'm really curious so single seeds same range better accuracy on that one that one also has rockets 220 interesting you got napalm there, fairly cheap compared to other napalm, unless they've changed the pricing across the board. You got a Jaguar ATGM there. You've got a rocket attack. That's a pretty good ATGM plane, actually. You got the Mirage, which has a decent air-to-air -air missile. You got the other Mirage, which has some bombs, unguided bombs there, big ones. Got the Mirage 2000, which again has some decent air to air missiles. And you've got a HE bomber, which has 10 bombs. That's pretty good. Well, as I say, there's a lot of choice here. We're going to take that as the best anti air you get. We're going to take that as backup anti air because it's still pretty good. And we don't have decent anti air on the ground in this deck. Very tempted by these unguided bombs. Depends how good they are. 12 HE power is pretty decent. 
The cluster, I feel like we need to take that actually. We're definitely taking the cluster because we lack the tanks. Kind of want to stick the ATGMs in there as well. Other than that, rocket attack jets are pretty good and they're reasonably priced. We need to take a seed of some kind, I think. I'm very tempted by the cheap one, to be honest. It's less accurate. And that one does have rockets. I mean, they're almost identical other than the armament. Is that worth an extra 80 points? That's difficult to say. That's really difficult to say. HE bombers wise. Oh, that's got. F Hang on a minute. That's got. Hmm. That says unguided bombs, but I actually think they're supposed to be guided bombs, you know. I mean, they look like guided bombs. They look like laser guided bombs, don't they? BGL 400. I can't remember if that specifically is a guided bomb, but I think that is a guided bomb jet. It's the same price as that with four bombs, though, so I'm going to go with that one. Until I know whether that's actually working. Um, I'm still going to take more here, because I feel like this deck has decent jets. I think we take the cheap seed, and you get three of them, which is pretty good. And then what else do we take? We've got... Plenty of points left. I think we're going to take another jet and then we're going to take another helo and leave it at that. So let's take. Let's try it. Let's take that one and see if these are guided or unguided and just see how they drop. I'm not sure if the guided stuff is incorrectly yet. I can't remember in the patch notes. We've got one point left to spend and I'm going to buy some more gazelle cannons and just harass people with gazelle cannons because they're pretty cheap. And there's the deck, let's recap quickly. As I said, it's a French deck. They're pretty straightforward. You can just pick the decent stuff and you're gonna be fine. So quick recap, we've gone for the trucks, the kangaroo and the Jeep CV. Infantry, we've gone for reservists, Sapu's Paras, Sapu's Paras Flams, Chasseurs Paras, Legionnaires Paras, Milan 2 Para, Legionnaires Paras again, Group Antichar Paras, a Command Paras, and Chasseurs Paras once more. Lots of Paras. Artillery wise, we've gone for one set of the 120mm mortars and we've gone for one set of the 105mm artillery pieces. Not the best artillery in the game. Tanks wise, well, we've gone for two cards of the ERC 90 because that's all that is available there. And we've gone for one of the P4 Milan Paras because they are. Harder to see than the VLRA Milans. Recon, we've got plenty here with the AML 90 Lynx, we've got the Eclairs Paras, we've got the Para SAS, and we've got some Gazelle Cannons. Anti air wise, we've got the Gazelle, we've got the Mistrals, and we've got the VLRA 20mm, just for mobility more than anything else. Next up on Helos, we've got the Gazelle Hot 2, the Gazelle Cannon, and another set of the Gazelle Cannons. And then for Air, we've gone for a good old mixture. We've filled this entire card. I think it's worth doing. The Mirage 2000, the Mirage F1C200, the Jaguar Cluster, the Jaguar ATGM, the Jaguar Rocket, the Jaguar HE, the Jaguar Seed, Seed 1 specifically, and also the Mirage F1CT, just to see how that pans out. And there's the deck. As I say, French deck, there isn't a huge amount to choose from, and it's kind of obvious what you're going to choose, unless you're going to go for a slightly different approach to the infantry, which you could. You could take chopper infantry. I think your deck's going to end up fairly similar to this one. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned to the channel. There will be more Warner coming up, and I'll see you all soon.